Souls like are probably the most boring games or boring genre of all time. It feels like a colossal waste of time, and I certainly don't get the appeal. Now, I know that I'm probably public enemy number one after saying this, especially to the legions of fans that Souls like games have. And I know the comments are going to be like, you're an idiot, you suck, you don't know how to play games. You prefer the shitty games that Sony puts out. And yes, I guess to some extent, I agree. And if you know me and my channel and you've been around for as long as I've been around, I respect varying in all opinions. If you like Souls-like games and that's your bread and butter, that's cool. But for years now, I've heard how great they are, how amazing they are, and how revolutionary they are. And if by some crazy reason there's some mentally ill person out there that doesn't like Soul-like games, those legions of fans that I mentioned earlier come out in bunches with their torches and they begin to attack that person as if they are a lesser gamer. Just for the simple fact that they don't enjoy sitting around for hours on end while going down a narrow corner to fight some crazy ass boss over and over again. And to be quite fair, it's not like the gameplay is super fun. You are one dumb son of a bitch. And I know that once again, you're going to say that I don't know how to play games or that it's a skill issue and how I probably couldn't get past a certain Souls game and that's why I'm making this video. And that there's just a beauty and a mastery to the Souls like gameplay that I just don't understand. And hell, maybe you're right, but probably not because I don't even waste my time with games that I don't enjoy. I mean, life is stressful enough as it is. I play to unwind, at least I used to. Nowadays I play for content, but still, I don't wanna get stuck on a boss for weeks. When I have other responsibilities, I just don't wanna do it and I'm sorry. And this reminds me of 2022 when God of War Ragnarok and Elden Ring came out. Everyone loved Elden Ring, like it was the greatest greatest thing since the creation of Earth, and it won game of the year. You can't argue with that, but actually, yes you can. I can argue with that. It just sucks. Stop it. Get some help. To me, honestly, it sucked. I guess I just enjoyed Ragnarok more. The cinematics, the explosions, the story, it was just better right? Maybe not, but it was just my type of game. But you know what I do remember is the comments, the articles, the posts on all types of different gaming forums where you would get attacked if you didn't like Elden Ring, if you didn't acknowledge that it was game of the year or the best game ever made. And they would say that you didn't know gaming. And it almost feels like a cycle that repeats itself every time a new Souls-like game comes out. Because according to these fans, Souls-like games are like the finer things in life. And we low lives don't have the knowledge to grasp even the simplest of concept when it comes to these types of games. And it does feel like the industry has moved more towards Souls-like games. We have Bloodborne, we have Lies of P, Elden Ring, of course, and the 2020 Demon's Soul remake that, from what I hear, is so much easier than the PS3 version. So if you really want to experience that Demon's Souls, you'll sell that junk PS5 and you'll go get a PS3. But you know what I find the most interesting about these games is that the fans of Souls-like games attack those that are trying to get into the genre. If I go back to Elden Ring, there were so many people that were excited about playing it, excited about it being their first Souls-like game. They were excited to learn the controls, and then if they beat the game, or if they beat a boss, a Souls-like veteran would say, oh, it's because Elden Ring is easy. It's actually the easiest Souls-like ever. If you really want a real challenge, you'll go back and play another one of From Software's games. So I guess I really don't get the fans. They go so hard for this genre, and I feel like they probably are the worst thing about it. And it feels like they make being into these games their whole personality. I think if it wasn't for the fans, it would make the genre tolerable. Maybe at least just for me. So at the end of the day, I don't get it. Do you want me to get into Souls-like games or not? And what even are Souls-like games? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! What genre is that? Is it just a game that looks like Dark Souls or Demon Souls? Because every time I see a game that looks like them, it's automatically categorized as a Souls-like. So I guess I really don't even know what the genre is. And look, it's not like I have a bone to pick with Souls-like players. It's not like I'm going to lose any sleep over it. It's just something that's been on my mind for a long time, since the craze of this genre began to blow up. I guess my biggest gripe is the fans. I mean, you guys are crazy, but like I've said a million times, I welcome all opinions of games, and I really don't care if you like the genre or not. But maybe quit clowning on those people who don't care for it, or can't get into it. Either way, I'm prepared for the debate down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, we are close to hitting 3,000 subscribers and stay tuned for a lot more content that we have coming out.